In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add colour to your images. So, if it is, say for instance, your character still, you know, even having um, use selective colour or use the Gaussian blur, the selective focus approach, if it is that it's still not very clear where your character is, what you can do is you can add colour to the image. So really simply, what we're going to do is we're going to draw around this here. So you can see this is a K and we're going to add a bit of colour to it. Um, so just like we did before, we're going to use the lasso tool. So I'm just going to click. Now with this, I'm going to have to draw it in sections. So I'm just going to do the stem of the K here first. So you can see I've highlighted this here. What we're going to do is we're going to then create a new layer. So to do that, we're just going to click on the plus sign there. So here we've got a, a transparent layer. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a color. Now it's up to you which color I'm going to, for just for this reason, I'm just going to use red. And there's different ways you can drop color in. The first one is you can use the paint bucket tool. Um, again, like with, like with the lasso tool, it is a selection tool. So it'll only allow us to drop paint into the area that's selected. So if I'm clicking here, you can see nothing happens. But if I click here, it only adds the color to that section that we've highlighted with the lasso. Okay, so I'm just gonna click Command and D to deselect that. So if you need to, you can go to select at the top. And then I'm just gonna carry on selecting some of these areas to continue filling in the color. So I'm just going around this. Take your time. I'm just gonna go like so. Around this area like that, there you go. So go back to my paint bucket, just drop that in, Command and D. So obviously at the minute all you can see is the paint, but we've got two layers. We've got the K and then we've got the image. So what you can do, like we've done before, you can use these blending options here. So you can blend that in. So I might use the darken tool. If it is that it's still a little bit stark, that you could even just reduce the opacity there. So using your blending options, as well as using the opacity tool just to blend that in. So now you can see where the letter is, you can clearly see the K. So if you need to, you can add color to your image.